morning, everyone. God is good. Amen. So our blog title today is No Man. Just a minute to share to these different groups. All right. So today, First Corinthians chapter twelve and verse three. Paul's writing a letter to the church again, the church of Corinthians or Corinth. He said, Wherefore I give you to understand. So he's writing a letter to the church to help them understand. Okay? It says that no man speaking by the Spirit of God to someone who has the Holy Ghost, all right? Already has the Holy Ghost, he's talking about, can call Jesus cursed. So saying, if any man or no, if any man has the Holy Ghost, they're not going to curse Jesus, right? And then it continues to say, in that no man can say that Jesus is the Lord, but by the Holy Ghost. That part, when the Holy Ghost hits your heart, you get the realization that wow, Jesus is Lord. I'm willing to refuse to sin in the world. But if you refuse Jesus, you're not going to get that Holy Ghost. So Paul's writing in that time, it was in Greek. Um, we're Kuros means different things. Adonai, Elohim, a lot of different things is under the, the word Lord, but it's all the same thing. And Paul believed in one Lord, and that was it. Our fleshly mind refuses to accept Jesus as Lord. We want to resist him, resist that spirit. And when we don't have a Holy Ghost, we want to, you know, resist and, and say, you know, He's not Jesus. He's not Lord. But when that Holy Ghost actually pricks our heart, we know and we understand that Jesus is Lord. It's really amazing. And I want to thank God, you know, that every one of you are curious on learning. And somehow the full revelation and some are still learning every single day. That's us too. But the Word of God feeds us every day. We can never get tired of it. You know, we can eat lasagna or pizza or hamburgers and get tired of it. But it's it's not like that. <clears throat> we can, you know, also, you, you don't get eat, tired of eating every day because your flesh eats food, but if you eat the same thing every day. But with the Bible, it's completely different. We want to read it every day. We learn something new every day, so we can never get tired of the Word. And so whatever I learn every day, I want to share with you guys. So it's short and simple and sweet today. Let's go ahead and pray. Thank you, Jesus, for your anointing. And I want you to pour your anointing on the pastor that's preaching today at church. Um, Lord, we need you to lead us to church for the, the preaching for our salvation. And that we can follow Acts 2.38. That we can resist the world and that allow your spirit to lead us. And I pray for your protection on Brother and Sister Nolan and the group that they are with over in Turkey. I pray that they have... Uh, great service and enjoy their time. I want to thank God for my wife and her anointing for helping voice for me. That we can share the word with you, all that's watching, in Jesus' name, amen. Love you all.